Hi, Girl Scouts. I'm gonna work on extracting the, the DNA from the slime I found earlier. We were really lucky to find that. While I'm doing that though, I thought maybe you would like to extract some DNA yourself, but I don't have slime for you. Instead, I have something else. I have an onion. That's right, an onion. You are going to extract DNA from an onion. Well, the reason we can get DNA from an onion is because DNA, or er, onions actually have more DNA than people do, about 12 times more. Now, it's funny because you look at me and you look at the onion and you think, how in the world can that onion have more DNA than her? But it does. Scientists call it junk DNA. It's just kind of in there, but it doesn't actually program or code to do anything. It's just there. So let's get started. The things that you're going to need are a onion. You are going to need this bottle that is in your kit. And I have on here very clearly, do not drink. This is not water, it's rubbing alcohol. So we don't want this to enter our bodies. You are also going to need a toothpick. You are going to need, there's quite a few things to this one. You are going to need a clear, the clear container that's in your kit. Some of you have glass jars like this. Some of you have containers that look like this. Some of you might have other clear containers. You're going to need that. You are going to need a cup of some sort. Clear might be better so you can see what's happening. You are going to need um, a one teaspoon, a one tablespoon, salt, dish soap. We still have the big container of dish soap. And most importantly, you're going to need a grown-up. So. Stop right here and point to your grown-up. If you can't point to a grown-up, you need to stop this video and get your grown-up because we are going to use a knife. So you should also have a knife and a cutting board. So now that you have your grown-up with you, you are going to take your onion and you are going to start chopping your onion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the end off. If you, your house rules are that you are allowed to cut an onion, then that is okay. If your house rules are that you're, you need to ask, you need to have a parent help you cut, then that is okay too. Whatever your house rules are is what you need to do today. So I'm gonna take my onion, I cut the top and bottom off, and then I'm gonna peel off all of this skin. I actually don't need all of this onion for this experiment, I just need some. All right, so now I have an onion. Let me tell you a trick. If the onion makes your eyes start to water, my mom taught me this, stick your tongue out. And then put an onion like good, and your eyes won't water. All right, I'm gonna get a sharper knife because this one is not doing the trick. All right, now I have my sharpening. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my onion and I'm going to cut it as small as I can. So what might be a good idea for you at home is for you to first cut the onion so that you feel safe and your parents feel safe, and then have your parent cut it even smaller. Because when we do this, if I put a piece like this in, it's not going to um, release the DNA because this is too big. You have to have them really small. You need to mince them. It's your cooking word of the day, mince, to cut something very small. So I'm gonna work on cutting mine very small while you are working on cutting yours very small. Ooh, my eyes are watering. All right, and I don't need my whole onion. I just need some. Oh, the animals are coming. They hear me cooking and they smell it and they go, we want to eat some. All right, so I'm going to keep mincing until it is as small as it can go. All right, I think mine is pretty small and I'll show you how small mine is. Pretty small, actually, I might just give it one more go. If you are still cutting, and that is okay. Pause the video until you are done cutting 
And this will be the last time that we're using the knife. So if your parent feels comfortable, then they are excused from the kitchen once your knife is done. All right, so I have my onion chopped and I'm gonna take my glass that I have. And I'm gonna take my onion and put it into the bottom of my glass. I don't need to fill the bottom of my cup. I just need some. So I think I did like maybe three kind of big pinches. If you have more, then that's okay. You'll just need to um, use more material. So it's not a big deal. All right, whew. Oh, I thought my eyes were in the water. All right, so I have my onion in my cup. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my dish soap and I'm gonna put it right into my cup. I'm not, there's not really a measurement for this. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put some in and you're gonna mix it up. You want the dish soap to be able to coat your onions. You don't want your onions swimming in it. You just kinda want them covered in it. Um, so I am going to, you're gonna need a spoon too. All right, I'm going to take my dish soap. Oh gosh. I'm gonna put some in. That should be good because I don't need a lot. And I'm gonna mix it up. All right, and now my my onions are coated in the dish soap. All right, so I'll put that there. The next thing I'm gonna need is I'm gonna need some salt, and I'm going to need one teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna take my salt. You know what? I messed up. It's one half teaspoon. One half teaspoon. It's in your directions right. My brain's just not right. I'm gonna take one half teaspoon and I'm gonna put the salt in. Ooh, come on, salt. Now, this is not cooking and it doesn't have to be perfect. So if you accidentally put too much salt in, it should be okay. I'll put my salt in and now I need to put in two tablespoons of water. So the big one, two tablespoons of water. It doesn't matter if it's hot water or cold water. I would put in like room temperature water maybe, but if it's hot, it's hot, it's cold, it's cold. So I'm gonna put two tablespoons of water in. So one. And when I'm putting this in, I'm being careful not to get bubbles. So I'm tilting the glass and pouring it down the side so it's not too bubbly. And two. All right, so this is what mine looks like. And I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm going to stir it now. Remember how we poured the water in so we didn't get bubbles? We're gonna stir it so we don't get bubbles either. If I put my spoon in and I start stirring really fast, guess what? We're gonna get a lot of bubbles and we don't want a lot of bubbles. We just want some. So I'm gonna take my spoon and I'm gonna slowly stir it. If there's some bubbles, that's okay. But we don't wanna stir really fast so there's lots of bubbles. Okay. So mine is all stirred. Now, here is the hard part. I'll put this here. You have to wait 10 minutes. My favorite way to have a timer is I say, Alexa, set timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. And maybe your Alexa's doing your timer now too. I'll see you in 10 minutes, my friends.